Beautiful family, my name is Quillet. I'm a gospel minister. We are on a journey to save thousands of people, millions of people out of abusive marriages. So please share this video because you will save somebody's life today and your life will never be the same. You are blessed for doing that. Listen, I'm going to say mysteries today. I'm going into deep concerning spiritual things. So please listen to this message very well because your lives will be transformed. I'm speaking as a servant of the Most High God. The Bible says something in Matthew 6, 24. It says, nobody can serve two masters. You either love one and hate the other one, or you'll be devoted to one and despise the other one. But as a matter of fact, two slaves can be under one master. Think about this. The reason for which people enter into abusive marriages, they are many. But I am going to tell you certain things, certain mysteries. Listen, sometimes you will call somebody, yes, why is it that you are married to more than one wife? And then people will say, why are you condemning him? Or you are, yeah, you are condemned you are condemning him. Do you know what is going on in his family? Do you know what is going on in his house? This is revenge. If something is going on in his house or his family or his wife is even more treating him, and he decides to take another wife, he is taking revenge. So how can you say you are taking revenge against a woman that you love? Then automatically it becomes an abuse. That is why I'm telling you that two slaves can be under one master. Those women who are married to one man, don't count yourselves as masters. You are slaves because the Bible says... Uh, uh, Two, two masters, you cannot serve two masters at the same time. That's one. So one master, two slaves, it is possible. We all know. Let me tell you about this mystery. There are things that influence people to go into polygamous marriage. Tradition is one. I've mentioned it over and over again. Tradition is one. And then influence from society. So, you are a rich man, you need to get rich, you have to get a good job, and you can marry as many women as you want. These are influence from society. But all these things, customs and tradition, empower them. Okay? Because they know that the moment you have the cash, you have money, you can marry women, and it is even a sign that you are rich. It endorses you. It is a signature of a rich man. To have a lot of wives. That is why I'm saying. So many slaves can be under one master. Think about this thing. Now. This is the deep one. Spiritual abuse. Spiritual abuse. These are things that have been there. From generations to generations. It is in the DNA. It runs through the blood. Ancestral curses. Traditional cases which were placed on the family so many years ago. You will get married to a man. You've not committed abortion, you've not done anything. But the moment you enter into that marriage, you cannot give birth. You will separate and you can you can give birth. The moment you leave the marriage and go into another marriage, your womb is opened. Vice versa, the man to the same thing. There is nothing wrong with him. He gets married to a woman and he cannot give birth. These are spiritual abuse. They are curses that, that are placed on the family to abuse the people in the family. I will tell you how you can break those curses. Just keep listening. Now, childlessness. You go into marriage and you cannot have children. This one, it is not effect from the man because the man came to the... Both of you, you cannot have children. And if you, if you cast your mind back, you start reading from the family. From generations to generations, it has been like that. Your uncle suffered, your auntie suffered, your mother suffered before they could have even one child. So you walk through the family, all the children are one, 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 one. These are traditional abuse. And they must not be taken so easily. I am telling you, 
There are things, oh, there are things in this world that we see. Things are not ordinary. Things are not just normal like you see it. I'm not causing fear and panic, but I am telling you something. Just listen to me. There are some families, the women get married at age 40. If you are not 40 years, you cannot get married. They get married at age 40. So if you get married at age 40, just consider when will you have children. So they are not able to have so many children. One, two, one, two. There are some women, they were having money, they were working, they were prospering on the field of their, their businesses. But the moment they get married to one particular man, their businesses will crash, vice versa. The man was doing very well in his business. But the moment he got married to that lady, everything was crashed. These are things that are running through the blood. It is in the DNA. There are ancestral cases that are in the family. And you can break it with prayers and fasting. Sometimes you take it for granted. You think it is something that is just happening. So you just keep quiet and you'll be moving from one place to the other. By the time you know you are old and things cannot work for you again. These are things that happen in the family. So your finance, your finances will be breaking, will, will be breaking down gradually. The woman cannot give birth. If you separate, you, they all go and give birth. The woman will go away, the man will go away. The next year they will all have children. These are things that are in the family. And it has followed the family. Sicknesses that run through the family. At age 40, you must get cancer. Because your mother had breast cancer. So you also get breast cancer. At particular age, your mother got diabetes. So you also get diabetes. I know that sicknesses exist. But you have to know that every sickness has a spirit that is attached to it. There are spirits backing sicknesses. That is why we pray and, and we approach sicknesses. We pray and we break sicknesses. Okay? We pray and we destroy sicknesses. And people are being healed. These are spirits. And sometimes they are seated in the family. They are in the family. They are working. They've been there since ages. So if you, you come from that family, it is very difficult. Sometimes you have to get people who help you in prayers to break it. If you go to you, Idochi's page, okay? This actor, I love the man so much. If he's in the movie, I just watch the movie. I have to sit up. The moment I see him in the movie, I watch it. Uncle Larry called Sweat. Go to you, Idochi's page. They were on set. I think they were coming to shoot a movie or something. And this man says, says something in Igbo. He told you that if May, he told you that if May, his wife, is not willing to stay because of the other woman, she can leave. She can leave. This is a message. And it carries spirits. And I'm asking myself that why is it that that particular video is on you, Idochi's page? Because this is, even though he did not, he didn't say anything, but you, Idochi said, oh, it has not gotten to that. I'll calm him down. He said something good. But I'm telling you that, why this information? And why is it that the video is on his page? The moment this woman will go and watch, may Idochi, if you are watching me, just cast your mind back in your family. Watch through your family. Study the history of your family. It might be that you are repeating certain things and you need to rise. It is good to be famous. It is good to be known. It is good to get money. But if you want your marriage, rise spiritually with prayers. Don't go to the other side. It will destroy you at the end of the day. Lift up prayers. I am telling you, certain things are not ordinary. So this message that came out from Larry called Sweat Mouth, Uncle Larry. I love the man so much, but I felt so much disappointed. I feel it is unfair. I think maybe he... he it, 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 uncle, please, Uncle, you are my uncle. It is better you come out and retract that statement. Because he even said that he was having two wives and one is gone. Why did the other one go? And the question is, why is it that the video is on the page? Because uh, may Idochi will go and see the video. And what is the message that is sending across to the woman? 
It means if you cannot pack out of the house and this as these are words and they carry spirits. And this is the spiritual abuse that I'm talking about. They come from all angles. They come from all angles, friends, relatives, everywhere. Now, it works and it affects the people who are involved, either the man or the woman. So if it is the woman that is going through this spiritual abuse, because it is a generation thing, generational thing and you are working in it. So the moment it gets to you, you keep running away from people who will redirect you, people who will take you away. People who will redirect your path with the word of God. And you follow those who massage your ego. Those who validate you. Those who endorse you. You sit at their feet and they will give you polygamy tutorials. And you enjoy it. But be careful, you are on your way to destruction. So reasons for which people are in abusive marriages. They are a lot. They are women, they can beat their husbands. There are women, the moment they stay with the men, two, three years, they get bored at them. They just don't want them again. They are so much angry with them. Some of these things are from families. Spirits are causing that. They don't want you to stay in the marriage. So some of these things are not ordinary. And you can break them with prayers and fasting. So don't take things so lightly. If you are in abusive marriage, if you are in polygamous marriage, check your background. It is not tradition, come, but traditions are spirits. That is why people are holding it in high esteem and they love it. They enjoy it. They are spirits and they run through the family. Just check it. Who was blessed through this means? Some of them, if the children don't go astray, they face all kinds of lifestyles. The women, the men, they die anyhow. There is no blessing attached to it. It destroys you at the end of the day. So let's watch it out. That's what through your family, what your mother went through, what your uncle went through, what your sisters went through in terms of marriage. They were being beaten in their marriage. They were being driven away. They couldn't stay in marriage. All your aunties are divorces. Your uncles are divorces. They are married to men, uh, uh, more than two, three, four women. They cannot take care of their children. Most of them are smoking. They are smoking all kinds of things. They are sniffing all kinds of things. And this, this thing, your uncle did it, your auntie did it. It is, it runs through the family and it's not ordinary. You need to rise up with prayers and fasting to break it so that your generation, you can break it for the family. It is not an easy thing. So this abuse thing that we are talking about, there are spirits attached to it. God bless you so much. My name is Queen Lit, and I'm a gospel minister. Kindly follow this page and like the page on Facebook. Go to YouTube and subscribe to our channel. And thank you so much for the, uh, uh, the subscribe that you are giving us. We are so much thankful. And thank you so much for liking our pages, following our pages, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. Please keep sharing because you are blessing and saving lives. I'm reading your messages and we will talk about so many things which will bless your lives. God bless you.